Hello. <laughs> right. Judging other people or using judgment in our marketing methods to attract more people to us. That's what I want to talk about today. I think that it's become more apparent over time and definitely in trends in the online space that you have very different ways of polarizing your audience and very different ways of attracting people to you. And one of those strategies is by highlighting how other strategies don't work or highlighting how other people are using strategies that are not effective. And for me, something that I think is really important is to understand that there is no one way for anyone to do business. Of course, there are ways that could be more effective, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're right for everyone. So when we, we're gonna talk about marketing in this video and how you can market your business, but without having to discredit anyone else, without having to place judgment on what other people are doing, without giving the impression that your way is the only way, without creating this kind of hierarchical system in, in this online space of, you know, this is the best way. And if you follow this method, this will happen. And if you do that, you know, unlucky, that kind of thing. How can you market your business in an integrity, in an honest, in an easy, and in a fun way that allows you to just show up as yourself? So there are a few things that you can do to market your business, your personal brand, your services in a way that doesn't need to focus on what anyone else is doing. And I do this. So I'm hoping that in this video, it's just going to give us a bit of a lighter way to see this because that, you know, that I see, I see so many things from people, yes, yeah, scamming other people, creating fraudulent accounts, um, using other tactics on things like Instagram where I would pay someone to go into someone else's inbox and say, hey, I've worked with Sam, you should check her out. You know, there's so many different tactics now in the online space and there is everywhere, but you've got to think the online space is such a complex place now and there's just so many different ways and advancements to get yourself out there. And you know, people are trialing them and testing them, but hopefully this is just gonna give you a guide as to some simple ways that you can continue to market yourself without needing to go down that route, if it doesn't serve you, of, using other people's strategies as a way of saying mine's better and kind of creating that comparison. So the first thing that you can do to really market yourself in a way that is powerful, really attractive, magnetic, you know, just vibrant, and it's so simple, is modeling. So something that I love to do is model the behaviors and the strategies for my clients that I invite them to use. So if I invite my clients to think about selling on their stories, I model that. If I want to invite my clients to think about launching a new course or bringing out a sale or whatever it might be, I would model that. So I lead by example. I model in a way that I know my clients will be really drawn to, find really, really relevant for them, and also can start to emulate in their business. And it's not about copying and creating another version of me, of course not, all of my clients have different personalities, but what it is about doing is guiding them in a way that they can see what's possible using very, very simple strategies. So modeling can become part of your marketing. So if I take that one step further, of course I can model like now, I can give you videos, I can give you content, I can show up online, I can make money online, I can sell really easily, I can sell out my offers, all of those things which models to my clients that it's possible. So I can do it by action, but I can also do it by my language and my storytelling. So if you are creating a marketing message that you want to attract people in, you can use and start to share stories of your experiences. So when I sold my first online program, this is what happened and this is what I changed. When I brought out my one-to-one -one and I raised my prices, this is how it felt, but these were the results. When I moved from this business into this business, this is what I did, this is how I did it, this is how it felt, and this is what my clients did. So you can actually start to story tell your experiences 
to your audience so it's another way of modeling what's possible so you can showcase the opportunities and a third way that you could do that is then use examples of clients that you've worked with that have then had similar results using these systems so i had a client come to me and the majority of my clients come to me because they don't want to use launches to create success in their business they find them draining overwhelming demotivating and just you know a lot of work that they don't want and I don't do launches in my business. And when I say launches, of course I launch, as in I tell people things are available, but I don't do like big masterclasses or challenges or webinars or things like that. So that's what they want. They want it to be easy like that. So I, I could model and say, I had a client that came to me, wanted things to be so much easier, wanted to be able to sell out a mastermind and in two weeks made 11K in sales for that new mastermind without a launch. That's happened. So then you can see that I'm modeling in what I do, by action, modeling in my stories that I share, but also in the stories that I share of my clients. So that's one way that you can really market yourself in a way that just showcase what you're doing. At no point am I talking about what anyone else is doing. I'm not sharing from any other perspective apart from my own and what my clients really relate to. The second way that you can really start to showcase and market yourself without going down the route of discrediting, comparing, you know, we've done all of that, all of that jazz, is to create scenarios that your audience will resonate with. There's lots of different ways of saying this, but you've got like case studies, you've got examples, um, you've got giving people, well, that's it actually. Don't know where I was going with that. I'm just trying to come up with other words for the same thing. But yeah, case studies and examples. So in your marketing, in your actions, in your stories, in your content, this client achieved this. I really want to celebrate this person because they've done this. I'd love to show you how this person has gone from this to this. This person was feeling this way, now they're feeling this way. When this client came to me, they did this and now we're doing this. So you can actually start to storytell through your clients and through their experiences and using them as your showcasing, showcasing their experiences. Again, at no point are you talking about what anyone else is doing. At no point is it becoming this kind of like, this is the best way, but you're just showing what's possible with the way and the methods that you use. And the third thing is to create your own framework. And the reason that I talk about this is originality and innovation are so important in entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship especially in the online space. So being original and innovating your ideas just can mean that when you look at your processes, you look at how you support your clients, you create your own framework. Again, it's yours then, it doesn't matter what everyone else is doing, but you know, you could have a system where you have like the five S's and you give, you know, five things in your framework. You know, work with me and we'll go through this pyramid. Spend time with me and we go through this quadrant, whatever it might be, you know, just so that you can start to create your very own movement. And that kind of leads on to number four, which is to create your own movement, create your own energy, create your own attraction methods. So for me, one of the reasons people come to me is what I shared at the beginning. They want to create that scalable six-figure business, but without a focus on launches and really kind of complicated funnels and things like that, because for them it just doesn't work or it doesn't resonate with them so th there's my that's that's my like little gap you know that that's where i want to put myself that's my movement so when you look at your marketing in a way how can you get yourself out there how can you allow your marketing to talk for you you've got modeling three different ways you've got using examples based and client based focus for stories and you've got that through copy you could do live interviews with them you could use testimonials so that's that's that separate one the third one creating your own framework how can you start to become really original and innovate an idea that becomes something that you are known for which then leads to the fourth one which is all about creating a movement so then you can find that very very quickly it's about what no one else is doing and it's just about what you're doing it's just about showcasing what you are doing for your industry for your clients for your community to put out the very very best opportunity for success irrelevant of what everyone else is doing so i think that's a really really important factor and the fifth way that you can do this is go against the grain and celebrate other methods and this is what I talk about. So I've done posts on this a lot. I've got peers that absolutely smash it using launches. I've got peers that use Facebook ads and that's how they run their business. Every business can succeed in lots of different ways. So I actually will create content about the other methods so that I can show that I'm aware of them. I can show that I understand there are other ways to do business. And that's where at the very start of this video is not about creating that kind of hierarchical system. You know, this is the only way. Uh, I don't know why I put on that accent. This is the only way, but you know that. It's, it's not about that. So 
actually create examples, stories, content that does showcase your knowledge of other areas. For example, we are now using Facebook ads in my business. We started using them about two and a half years in, but we're not using them from a making money perspective. We're using them from a brand awareness perspective and looking at creating some passive funnels. So it's kind of a, a different scaling energy for the business. So if I have clients that use Facebook ads, I do understand them. If I have clients that use funnels, we do have funnels. I actually have someone in my team on a retainer who does all my graphic design and looks after our funnels. But again, I didn't do that until maybe, yeah, three and a bit years in. Um, if we then look at things like launches, I have tried launches. I did two launches in 20. 2020, I did two launches in 2020. Both of them brought in around 25, 30K ish um, for a really low end offer, a low end offer product. And it allows me to then show that I do understand these other methods. I do understand these other methods and I'm, I've used them, but what now works for me is something that I know suits my personality, suits my business and suits how I want to grow it. So I actually use these examples to say, yeah, I get it. I love them all. They can work, but this is what I'm doing and this is the, the route that I'm going down. And then my clients can be drawn to that. But my clients are also drawn to the fact that I do understand other areas. I do understand how other things and other aspects of business and scaling your business work so I can still support them I'll support my clients wherever they want to take their business they don't have to copy what I'm doing and of course so that's really important number five is is there a way that you can showcase your experience and your knowledge in the other areas that you might not use but just allow your clients to see that you do have this understanding and you've got this kind of robust awareness so marketing in your business does not need to be about judging other people it doesn't need to be about discrediting anyone else comparing anyone else putting anyone down making out that this is better than that and having this kind of comparison vibe. It doesn't have to do that. You can very much stay in your lane, own your strengths, stand in your zone of genius and still serve your audience incredible value. So I hope that's given you five strategies that you can use to market yourself and your business while staying in your own lane and not worrying about what anyone else is doing. If you have any questions on this, you want to talk more about marketing, brand awareness, putting yourself out there, building your personal brand, growing your community, social media strategies. Seriously, come on, I've got it all. I'm more than happy to talk to you about it and answer those questions. Do some live masterclasses on it, whatever you might need. And if you do want any further support or more in-depth around marketing, social media growth, building your business, looking at your launching and your pricing and what to sell when, then just remember you do have access to the success school and all of those links will be put in this video so that you can see that, work through that three phase, 12 module program to really move your business from the growth phase, the planning phase to the selling phase as well. So lots and lots of support available. I can't wait to see you on the next video. Next uh, piece of juicy content. And in the meantime, any questions, you know where I am. I'll see you soon.